Let's go and welcome back everybody to Doki Doki Window to Your Heart. Last episode we hung out with our best friend Alex and we had a conversation about uh, our love lives I suppose really. Alex kind of sprung it on us that he's in love with Monica. He doesn't know how to make the first move. We pretty much kind of shyly admitted that we are in love with Natsuki and we don't know how to make the first move. And we both told each other to follow our hearts. Our hearts, baby. And uh, then that was pretty much the end of that. We hung out with Natsuki again and now we're back in school ready to take our first set of exams. So... I guess maybe uh, this mod's sort of kind of coming to a close a little bit. I mean, final exams, right? So maybe the mod will be over when the exams are over. I don't know, okay? Point is, we got to pursue our love life. It's now or never. I believe we are we are seniors. I think we're graduating soon. So, you know, it, it's now or never, my dog, okay? That's all I can say. So without further ado, let's jump into it and see what happens. Today's the start of our first set of exams. Uh, it'll go through everything we've been studying so far, and even though they're not finals, I don't want my grades to drop even lower. You ready for this, guys? Yeah! As ready as I can be. This is it. I can do this. First off, English. That was a piece of cake! Damn, that really was a piece of cake! I- All I had to do was write my name down, and apparently it was over! I didn't do so well in the longs answer section. Well, okay, you know, it is what it is. I mean, we never actually gave our own commentary actually at all. Wait, we said it was easy. Now now I'm, I'm confused already. No, Alex said that was a piece of cake. So what about us? How are we doing? Anyway, today is the science portion of exams. You ready, guys? I was, I was waiting for Alex to say as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> I'll try my best with no promises. Yeah, science isn't my best subject, but I don't know what happened. It just automatically skipped the text. <laughs> I thought I accidentally hit it like this, and I right-clicked again, and it just it wasn't coming back, bro. It was it was a transition screen. Well, I tried my best. Whether it was good, uh, I'm not sure, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, what he said. How are we doing? Dude, I don't like this, bro. I'm on the edge of my seat. What if we freaking fail and we don't graduate with the dokies, bro? I mean, I don't think Natsuki likes a, a man that gets Fs on his grades, you know what I mean? We gotta show that we're uh, we're strong-willed, smart, intelligent, can take care of her. Not, not that I'm saying, you know, men have to take care of the woman, but I mean, the way the relationship, the dynamic, what Natsuki is longing for, I feel like she wants somebody to, you know, kind of care for her a little bit, you know? Because I feel like she's never had that. I feel like she's kind of longing for that. Someone to kind of protect her, help her, and, you know, just let her know that everything's okay. Anyway. Math. I hate math. I'm pretty sure everyone hates math. It was actually my favorite subject in my last year, but I guess that was also kind of thanks to my, my teacher as well. Such, such a nice lad he was. I'm not going to go into a long tangent and conversation about him, but he was a good man. I, I got into anime pretty much around the same time of this class. And I learned that he had a giant closet of anime, looked in there, saw he freaking had Sword Art Online. I was like, you know what? We're going to be best friends. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this one. Yeah, this might be it for me. What do you mean? Uh, let's just uh, try our best. It's all we can do. I don't know how much more I can take. This is like torture. And how was it for us? The exams, they're finally over. It's over. It's over. Everyone's slumped over in their desks, clearly exhausted from the tests. Did that rhyme? That sounded like it rhymed. It was definitely a long few days. This morning, Natsuki called me and asked if I wanted to meet her on the roof after exams. All right, dude, this is the freaking skill check. She's gonna be like, how did you do, Baka? And then I'm gonna show her that I got all Fs and then she's just gonna kick me off the roof and I'm gonna die, bad end. Of course I agreed to it. Why wouldn't I? I'm in love. Took you long enough. Did you get lost on your way here or what? <laughs> Why'd you call me up here anyways? Needed someone to talk to. It sucks when you don't have anyone to complain to, you know? Uh, I suppose. 
She looks to the- meanwhile, we're like, yeah, we never have told basically anyone about our crazy superpower where if we touch someone, we like suck in all their memories and past traumatic experiences. We just never vented to anyone about that. Again, like sort of our therapist and we did tell Monica and Alex, but not because we wanted to. Anyway, just shows that, you know, humans are unique and they're all different. Natsuki, she feels like she needs to vent. Us? We'll just suck it all up, bro. She looks to the sky and taps her foot. She looks like she wanted to say something, but forgot what it was. Then again, I feel like maybe it's because Natsuki has been holding in for a long time. I mean, who has she really been able to talk to about, you know, how her life has been going, you know? Suddenly, she tugs at my shirt sleeve and drags me on one of those roof benches. Hey, watch it! But I kind of like it that you're being so aggressive, Natsuki. Ooh, ooh. Sit. Huh? I said sit. I do as I'm told and sit on the bench. She sits down next to me and crosses her arms and legs. Again, she frustratedly looks up towards the sky. I hate exams. By the end of it, my brain's fried. Can't think. Yeah, feel that. She taps her foot some more. Sitting so close to her, I can feel myself start to sweat. What's your kitchen like? My kitchen? That's what I said, dummy. You got a lot of baking supplies? <laughs> what are you trying to mooch? Uh, not really. Good, then I can be your cooking life. Yo! Good end. Hmm. Can I ask why you want to know? I want to bake someone. Uh, I want someone to bake for. Yo! I freaking told you, dog. I freaking told you. Well, I mean someone to bake with. I can't keep baking the same old stuff just to throw it all away. Why not make food for the club? I'm sure everyone would like that. That's true. She looks down to her feet and taps her foot faster. But I need to be more personal. I need to feel that spark again. Spark? What makes me different from the rest of your friends? She smiles and I can hear her quickly exhale out of her nose. I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out for a while. Why do I... She stops herself quickly and looks at me in the eyes. We stay for what feels like ages, just staring. I can usually tell what someone's thinking by looking into their eyes, but my brain feels... hazy. I feel my face getting warm to prevent... I... Okay, there was a period there, Rar. Chill. I know you're getting a little excited right now, but calm down. I can feel my face getting warm. To prevent myself from blushing, I look away from her gaze. Natsuki gives me a little chuckle in response. I knew it. Knew what? You're so easy to embarrass. I am not. Mm-hmm. Anyways. She stands up and dusts off her skirt. I want you to come over to my house. I'll bake you something. And then you can give me feedback on it. If I do that, wouldn't your parents... My mom won't care, trust me. It's not like we're dating or anything. She already knows that. Okay. Still hanging out. Girl's house. That requires some form of trust, right? Guys and girls don't just hang at each other's houses unless they're good friends or dating. So... She holds out her hand. Do you accept my proposal? I, I gotta hold her hand in order to accept? I mean, don't mind if I do. I just, that's not... It's not normally how agreements work. Oh, it, what, we're shaking on it? it? Again, feels a little formal, but, you know... Anything I can do to touch, you know, a cute girl's hand, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Damn. I don't see a reason why I should turn her down. Sure, it's, uh, oh, just me wipe off all the disgusting, clammy sweatiness of my hands because I'm so nervous sitting next to a cute girl. Sure, it's the, I mean, I'd love to. I take her hand, she quickly pulls me closer to her. She's so aggressive in this mod, dude. What the hell is going on? She looks up at me with an inquisitive smirk. What the hell? I literally, I, ca I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I don't understand, dude. What the hell? <laughs> why? Natsuki, why are you being my dream girl right now? It's just not fair. I should play this mod quietly by myself with one hand. Like, it's just not right. It's just not right. Ugh. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, just say the words, say the lines, Rar. It's not that hard. You'd love to, huh? 
I'm glad you're so eager to. <laughs> I'm glad you're so eager to taste my baking. She's way too close for comfort. She realizes this too and lets go of my hand, taking a step back. I'll meet you there after club. You better show up, all right? Uh, don't worry, I'll be there. <laughs> Listen. I'm sold, kid. You don't have to freaking tell me to come by again. I'm freaking writing this down in my calendar right now. I would never miss this day. I think this is the right place. I check my phone to see if it's the right address. I see Natsuki on the top floor. She's rappelling down uh, a pair of bed sheets to escape her house from her abusive father. I mean, what? Yo, exit music redux. Where are you? We need you. It's com It's coming soon. They've actually made quite, quite, a, quite a decent amount of work on it, but... I I need you. I need you. Okay. Check my phone to see it's the right address. Yep. This is the place. Should I ring the doorbell or just send her a text? Does this house even have a doorbell? Before I can make a decision, the door opens. So you actually made it. Well, why wouldn't I? I figured you'd either chicken out or get lost on the way here. Well, you're not wrong about both of those things, but I listen, we did it, okay? Come on, we got a lot of work to do. Can't wait. This is... Wow. This is... My kitchen. <laughs> What's so great about it? It's just a kitchen. It's better than my kitchen. I barely have room for silverware. Take a look around, opening every drawer I can find. Not that I'm snooping, it's just out of pure curiosity. It's... that's like... Okay, it's not snooping, but it's still, like, weird. You're just looking around everywhere f with pure curiosity, bro? Chill! Chill, bro! What are you freaking looking for the freaking R18 freaking devices? I don't understand. Spice drawer, baking drawer, knife drawer. <laughs> might want to not, you know, might want to keep that one away from Yuri if she ever comes over. Uh, so many drawers. Uh, you done? Yeah, sorry. This place is just so organized. Yeah, we're acting like a freaking weirdo, like I said. Anyway, uh, what are we going to bake? Oh, we're not going to be baking. Well, I mean, we're going to be baking a baby inside of my tummy. What are you talking about? Dude, would you even be surprised? Tell me, would you even be surprised at this point? Would you Would you be surprised? I, let's listen, listen, listen. I don't know what's coming next. I just, I really assume it's going to be jaw-dropping. I just, I, I'm almost scared to click the next button. Good lord, bro. I, I can't even believe this mod. I, I Literally, if you told me that this is what the mod was about, like it had this stuff in here, I literally wouldn't even believe you. This is like so catching me off guard. I want to try my hand at something else. And that something else is... Chicken curry. Oh, you mean ba- Okay, not baking, but cooking. Okay. Curry, huh? I hope you know what you're doing because I don't. Every Japanese person knows how to make chicken curry, bro. It's the staple. And it's a good thing I'm here to teach you. I went out and bought some of the ingredients so we can... We have all day to make the stuff. Here's the list if you want to read it. I take a look at the list. There's some really specific stuff on here. How'd you find out all this? What are you standing for? Get the ingredients. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yo, this is the most fun... Uh, cooking with Natsuki in any mod I've ever had in my life. All right. The first step is heating up the oil pan. Shouldn't be too hard. Make sure not to burn the house down, all right? Uh, I may be clumsy, but I'm not stupid. Who said you were clumsy? Nobody. I just tend to fall out of bed some mornings. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Ned, you uh, done chopping the onions? Yo, we're on nickname basis. Hello, dude. It's Natsuki, and yeah, you got the salt ready? We're not on first name basis. <laughs> I mean, nickname basis. Shit, bro. Damn it. We were trying to slide in there, kid. We really were. This episode is so weird, bro. Um, yeah, take a look at this. I unveil a secret move I saw on the internet once. You missed the pan. I know. Hey, you're gonna burn it. No, oh, no, I'm the shit! What's wrong? How is that on fire now? Uh, do you have a fire extinguisher? 
Where do you think it is? It's not- it's not an office building. Alright, well, shit, uh, I don't know what to do. It's a freaking grease fire dog. Uh, what about salt? Got any salt? Of course I have salt. She hands me the container and I pour out almost all the contents onto the pan. The fire died immediately. <sighs> Look. I know this seems like it's all my fault. But you're just too hot and my eyes have been distracted all over you the whole time, Natsuki. So it's uh, not my fault. If you were not in the room, I wouldn't have did that. Okay? So I blame you. Problem solved. Get out of here. Don't leave! I'm kidding. Just, I may burn down the house again if you don't, though. But it's okay. It's worth it. I'm about to defend myself more when I notice her face twitching. Oh, dude, the classic soon their anger's coming out now, kid. It almost looks like she's trying to suppress a smirk. Never mind! She's laughing that we almost burned her house down. What? I don't... I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what's happening, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What? Oh god, that was hilarious. <laughs> the look on your face was. Uh, she can barely contain herself. I honestly was not expecting this response. Uh. Natsuki! You mind shutting up for a bit? I got a migraine, bitch. Sorry, mom. Sorry, my mom has a really deep voice. <laughs> Natsuki's mom? That was Natsuki's mom? How many cigarettes she smoke a day, Natsuki? Jeez Louise. I'm usually not this loud. I just couldn't resist. You're so cute, Rahar. Oh, I know. Oh. Uh, please. Are you enjoying this episode? Are you? This is just... I don't know, man. It feels like I'm in some kind of fantasy world right now, and... Uh... I don't know if it's really enjoyable for anyone else, but just know I'm having the freaking time of my life, kid, all right? So if that matters to you, just know we're having a good one, all right? It was adorable. It looked like you're gonna piss yourself. Why is she so sadistic? I, uh, uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I was not. I was worried. And it was a pretty reasonable thing to be worried about. I hope you realize that you just called me adorable. How about that, huh? Got a problem with that? We can't even one-up her, bro. She's too good. Why is she literally... Are you a sentient as well? Why? You, you have the reads, the plays. I don't understand, Natsuki. You're just too good in this mod. It's like you're actually uh, kind of well-written. Sort of. That's crazy. No, I just figured you'd be embarrassed by it. Yeah. Hey, I'll compliment. I literally like, by the way, also because I'm getting like so, my heart is so inside of this mod right now. It makes it harder to voice Natsuki, which sounds like it'd be the opposite, but it's just not. I feel like I haven't been doing a good job with Natsuki's voice. I also feel like every day I record, my Natsuki voice is a little bit different. Don't really know why. I feel like that's the case. Maybe it's not actually, but as I'm doing it, it feels different every single day. It's it's odd. Anyway, whatever. I'll compliment you. I'll compliment you when you deserve it. In that moment, you deserved it. I figured you'd be stupid enough to use water, but you actually acted pretty smart there. Good job. Yep. Honestly, yeah. The salt move. I was actually thinking that too. That the salt move was pretty smart. Thanks. I uh, saw it in a movie once. I look back towards the stairs leading to the second floor with a sudden curiosity. Hey. Try and introduce myself uh, to your mom? Don't bother. She couldn't care less with who I hang out with. You sure? Maybe... I said no! She stomps her foot to the ground to get her point across. I don't know what I did to anger her. Sorry. I, I just... Can I take you somewhere really quick? Uh... Sure. A laundry room. Why'd you bring me here? And I think with that, um, we're going to end the episode here. 
Um, because I think Natsuki is about to open up, and you know, I think this will be good. This will be a real nice, heartfelt episode starting now. No more horny, right? Okay, this is the end of horny. You better not betray me, mod. The horny ends here. Now it's gonna be cute. And wholesome we're gonna give Natsuki a hug next episode i feel it okay don't let me down so with that being said thank you for watching again interesting episode um hope you enjoyed and uh man youtube really just wants to keep me demonetized i'm sorry no 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 sorry i worded that wrong this mod really wants to me to stay demonetized it's just it's too horny bro i literally thought the horniest the horniest levels were like zero in this mod genuinely like zero i knew there wasn't a sex scene i'd know about it it's hard for that to hide when you download a mod you pretty much always know there's a sex scene coming up i know there ain't one and the fact that it's horny with natsuki bro it's, it, that's rare air bro it's a rare air mod i just i gotta say man i gotta say so anyway uh you know thank you for watching everybody hope you enjoyed you know take the episode with with what you will you know I just I hope you had a good time. I did too. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, that's all that really matters, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. Much love. Take care and have a damn good one.